Welcome to Move Your Reviews with Miss USA. I know a lot of us are still stuck at home because there's an ongoing global pandemic. And while I've been staying at home, I've been watching a lot of movies. Documentaries are my favorite category of movie. And so I'm gonna talk to you guys about five documentaries you should watch. Number one is really like more than one documentary. Technically it's a docu-series called Trial by Media. It follows highly publicized trials and assesses the media coverage of those trials and whether the media coverage influenced the outcome of the trial. So these are really, really fascinating trials, really interesting facts. And it is interesting for me, not only as an attorney, but also as a woman in the uh, media to follow uh, what would happen in each of these instances. So fascinating docu-series. I really think you guys should watch it, not just because it's entertaining, but also because you learn about these trials. I think educating yourself about these themes and what happens and what has happened in this country is essential. Number two is 13th. It is an incredible documentary directed by uh, Ava DuVernay, who is um, a fascinating filmmaker. I love her perspective and the way that she casts the movement and the way that she displays and keeps us interested in history and how we can help. The 13th is about the 13th Amendment to uh, the Constitution. And that amendment abolished slavery except for when a crime has been committed. The film itself assesses you know, racial inequality in our criminal justice system and how that exception to the 13th Amendment has allowed slavery to persist in the system of mass incarceration. The real thrust of the film is that, you know, we we did not really abolish slavery. What we did is we made new slavery, which is mass incarceration. And so it's a fascinating film. There are so many incredible leading experts that you have to hear from in this film. I mean, Brian Stevenson is in it. He started the Equal Justice Initiative. He wrote Just Mercy. Michelle Alexander, another incredible expert who wrote The New Jim Crow, which talks about mass incarceration. You're hearing people's stories and it really is compelling. So I, I encourage you strongly to watch 13. Number three that you have to watch Blackfish. This is a great documentary. I have watched it over and over and over again. But what this documentary is about is captive killer whales and the use of killer whales uh, for entertainment by SeaWorld and by um, other amusement parks. It starts with uh, the death of Don Brancho, who is a trainer from SeaWorld, because of a killer whale named Tilikum that had previously murdered two other people in other parks. And so the documentary itself, it assesses this particular incident with Don Brancho dying. And it also follows the issues that SeaWorld had with captive killer whales, how these killer whales um, were, were caught in the first place, the death rates of you know, killer whales, how often they kill people when they're in captivity versus in the wild. The lawsuit that happened after Don Brancho's death, the response from SeaWorld. They talk about, you know, can we still use orcas for entertainment in SeaWorld or in other parks? And so they answer a lot of those questions in the film and I hope you guys watch this. Number four, I think this documentary really spawned my love for documentaries. Uh, it's a documentary called Amy. It's about the singer, musician, Amy Winehouse. I'm sure you've heard of her and her incredible songs and her incredible voice. Uh, but I think the reason I loved the documentary so much is because it changed how I thought about people. A lot of people think of Amy Winehouse as this you know, drug addicted singer, but I think, um, and irresponsible, I think a lot of people were thinking that of her, and that's sort of how the media cast her very often was, you know, you know, she's always on drugs, she's always drinking, she's always missing shows. But I think that watching the documentary helped to reshape in me how I viewed not only Amy, but alcoholism, um, drug addiction, and um, the effects of being so famous. In the world nowadays, we understand that alcoholism is a mental health issue. Drug addiction is a mental health issue and that people who suffer from these issues need help. They don't need to be ridiculed. They don't need to be judged. And I think this is the first time watching this documentary where I really thought more seriously about that. I think I watched it when I first got to law school. And I think the documentary does a great job, not only of telling her story, but weaving the lyrics of her songs into her story. And I think Amy is an incredible documentary that just follows her life in a beautiful way. Number five, 
true justice. The interesting thing about the book Just Mercy is that it, it, in each chapter it flips. It flips from the story of Walter McMillan to other cases that Brian Stevenson has worked on and data, st um, statistics, uh, information, um, historical changes that you need to know about. And so it literally flips from chapter to chapter from Walter McMillan to information about Brian Stevenson's other cases. What true justice is about is Brian Stevenson and that flip side that you get from the Just Mercy book. You see his work, you see him you know, talk about what's happening in our communities, it gives you a more full picture of the things that Brian Stevenson has been through as an attorney, why he's advocated so thoroughly for people over the years and how you can help uh, in the work that he's doing. So those are the five documentaries that I recommend you guys watch. I love each of these. I hope you guys enjoy them. Please, you know, drop your feedback in the comments because I love to hear from you guys.